Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. And again, I'm just kind to trying to build up our exponent skills. So when these exponents show up in all the different contexts that they do on the GED, you'll be prepared here. So um, this particular uh, example says negative four squared, but I want you to notice something. I want you to notice that negative four is in parentheses. Uh, that's not for no reason and that's not by coincidence. What you need to realize about exponents, so this is an exponent, these little floating numbers, is that they're super duper weak as a general rule. Like for example, if I saw negative four squared, the only thing they work on is the number that they're directly attached to. So if I saw negative four squared without a parentheses, this little square would only be working on the four, meaning it would just be telling you to multiply four by itself. So like this portion right here means the same as four times four. So right underneath four squared, I would write, you know, 16, and then I would drop my negative sign. So negative four squared without the parentheses would give me negative 16. But something really different happens here. What these parentheses do with that exponent after, outside is that it, uh, increases the size of my base, the thing that's getting worked on by the exponent. What I'm saying here is take this entire negative four and square it. So I want you to take negative four and multiply it by itself, negative four. Notice what happens here. In this case, I'm not multiplying four by four and then negating it. In this case, I'm taking the whole negative four and multiplying by negative four. Now, you might be asking yourself why that happens at all, and that's because of the orders of operations, Gemma. As it turns out, you know exponents are supposed to come before multiplying. And like when you look at this problem, the first one we were looking at, negative 4 squared, this square is an exponent. This negative, a negative 4, is like negative 1 times 4. It's an act of multiplication. Negation falls under the heading of multiplication. And so you'd have to work this before you dealt with negating your answer. Now, but in this case, I've used the parentheses to make it a grouping. And so what I'm saying is to square that entire grouping. And that's why I end up multiplying negative four times negative four. And I hope you guys know that a negative times a negative is a positive. And so in this case, with this problem I was given, I would actually end up with positive 16. And you guys, you could see both on the GED. FYI, you could even see both in the same problem. You could have like a, an evaluating expressions problem where you ended up with something like this. There you go. That's a little order of operations problem that often shows up uh, when we're evaluating expressions. Um, and if you did, it would be important to realize, well, this negative 4 is in parentheses, so I'm squaring the whole thing. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. But this negative 4, it's not in parentheses, so I'll deal with the negative afterwards. I'll start with the exponents. 4 squared is 16. And now that negative, you can see, is just a minus. So 16 minus 16 would end up giving me a 0. Uh, but the point being, that's not the point. This original answer was 16. My point, though, is be careful. <laughs> be careful. Parentheses matter, and they do make a difference when you are dealing with exponents. All right, if you have a question about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.